Okay, so today we're going to look at multiplying decimals by whole numbers and this is very easy because it's just like multiplying whole numbers together as long as you remember one golden rule. There will be the same number of digits after the decimal points in both the question and the answer and the best way to see this is in practice. So, Jack, can you take us through one please? Right, so as an example we're going to take 4.89 and we're going to multiply that by 4 and I want to set it out just like we would a normal multiplication. First uh, sum we have to do is 4 by 9, which we know is 36, and we write as such. We then do 4 by 8, which is 32, and we add the, two, uh, add, add the 3 that we have carried onto that to get 35. We write that in as such. We then put the decimal point in as we would uh, following down from the one above, and we times 4 by 4 to get 16 when we add the 3 carried to get 19 giving us a final answer quite simply of 19.56 with as we can see two decimal points after the answer just as there were in the question ok Jack well, well thanks for that and that obviously makes things a lot easier but can you just run through one more example to make sure that we've all got it ok one more so if we were to take for example 56 Point eight, just the one decimal place in the question, and times that by 6, and we set it out just as the one above, and first of all we do 6 by 8, which we get 48, and put the decimal point in, and then we do 6 sixes, uh, 36, and we add the 4 from the one before, making it 40, putting in as such, and finally we do 6 by 5, which is 30, add on the 4 from the previous sum, making 34 and a final answer of 340.8 just as one before we have one, des uh, one figure after the decimal point in the answer and the question. Okay so thanks for that Jack and as you can see it's all rather easy if you just remember the one golden rule that there will be the same number of digits after the decimal point in both the question and the answer. Right so that was multiplying a decimal by a whole number now let's look at how to divide a decimal by a whole number and you use the same method as using normal division, but you have to remember the same golden rule. Keep the decimal points lined up. And as practice makes perfect, Ross is going to show you how to do a worked example. OK, so I'm going to look at 41.78 divided by 5. So when we set up the division, we need to look how many times 5 goes into 41.78. And just as Jack said, this is just like a normal division, but the key is keeping the decimal point in the correct place. So as we work through the sum, we know that 5 doesn't go into 4, so we must put a 0. So then we carry the 4 across and look how many times 5 goes into 41. We know that 5 goes into 40 8 times, so we have to carry the 1 across. Now the key is, I've carried the 1 across here, but you should remember straight away after you've done that to put the decimal point in. Then simply, how many times does 5 go into 17? That goes in 3 times, remainder 2. Then we look at how many times 5 goes into 28. goes into 28 5 times. And now this time, even though you've exhausted all of the figures in the number, you add a 0 so you can carry the 3 that remain from 5 to going into 28. Because 5 goes into 28 5 times, remainder 3. And then simply it's 5 into 30, which goes 6 times. So your answer is 8.356